there, welcome back to the Paleo Pod, and today we are going to be playing Guess at Paleo Art. Today is non dubious dinosaurs. Non dubious? Dubious dinosaurs, even. Dinosaurs that once were, which are not now. And we're here with Lakota, our dino guy. Um, we're going to be doing herbivores. I didn't realize how many there was. So I'm going to do herbivores, and then some point in the future, we'll do carnivores and probably various other weird things. Are we ready for our first one? Of course. Yes. And it is the big creature we are after. Is Go it, on, Dino. Is it Titanosaurus? No, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I nearly picked Titano because, but then I was like, Jurassic World Rebirth, it's very fresh in our minds, so it might be a bit easy. <laughs> yeah, true, true. <laughs> mm, guessing by the little guy down here and also the, the look of the trees, this is maybe a Jurassic sauropod? Is this L? Go on. Brontosaurus Ajax. No. Oh. It does have a diplodocid head, that's for sure. Would you like your first clues? Yes. Yeah. So, discovered in 1979, then described in 1991, and then it was removed in 2004. If I'm being honest, the only diplodocid that I know of that was ever went through the whole dubious thing was Brontosaurus. Yeah, it is the, the, the obvious one, I suppose. <laughs> or L. L Go on. Is it a species of Barosaurus? No. No. Okay. T. Is was... it a species of Diplodocus? Yes. Okay, but I don't know. I don't know what species. But we, okay, but we have to get <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! Shoot! Crap! I don't know. Would you like to give up? Yes. Or do you want one final? Oh, you want to give up? I'll get. I'll give up. I'm not gonna know. I don't even know the type species for Diplodocus. I mean, so we're gonna be here for a minute. Well, this is Seismosaurus. Seismosaurus is dubious, is it? Yeah, it uh, got renamed as a larger Diplodocus. Oh, America. so wait, how are we doing this? So basically, it's no longer Seismosaurus. It's Diplodocus. Um, Okay, I think I think I did know uh, that. Well, okay, so I was under the impression that this was like a dubious species of Diplodocus rather than a dubious once existed gen genus that was looped in with Diplodocus. That was what I was kind of like assuming. It, it got folded into Diplodocus. Right. So the, mm. the genus doesn't exist anymore. So it's no longer Seismosaurus, no. Yeah, okay. I think that there was yeah. a bit of a misunderstanding. Yeah, a little bit of a, okay. some confusion going on there. <laughs> Are we ready for our next one? Yes, sir. Yes. I, lo I love the look of this piece of artwork. D. Go on. There's like one of two things this could be, but I'm going to go with the first one. Is it Trachodon? Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, a Montessaurus name. Yeah. But... Oh, it was either it was either <laughs> Trachodon or Anatotitan. Yeah, so I just yep. went with the first one. <laughs> I was going to say that yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like this art. I didn't get, unfortunately, I didn't get any of the artist names. This yeah. looks like a Charles R. Knight piece, if I'm not mistaken. That's like, such a cool name, Trachodon. Yeah. Yeah. Rough Tooth. Yeah. Rough Tooth. <laughs> Rough Tooth. Yeah. I mean, that fits. Yeah. Uh, that, that fits yeah. a hadrosaur. The... <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready for a last one? Yes. yes we are. I really Ooh, like this one oh, my. Well. And it's very amphibian looking, isn't it? It's just Angiris, dog. <laughs> it's an Ankylosaurian. I know that much. It crawled right out of the Paleozoic, this one. This isn't like a trick question. It's like a Ralsukian, is it? <laughs> no. It's, yeah. It's a dinosaur. Don't you worry. I mean, if you told me it was, I would have believed you. I'm like, yeah, they, that, that, that tracks out. Dubious Ankylosaurs, or maybe specifically Notosaurs in general. Like, yeah, if I were to guess, this would probably be a Notosaurid. But right, shoulder spikes, lacking tail club, flat armor on the back. Um, I give you something for free. The fossil material for this, even though it was given a name, was taken. They took the name away from the creature and just never re like never put into a category. It's still an unknown Ankylosaurian. Really? Wow, that's yeah. interesting. <laughs> huh. So they, uh, they just, that's they... the strangest fact about it. Like, you because when you're looking at the non dubious stuff, it's like, oh, it's it's obviously this animal. They changed the name. They were just flat. We're taking the name away, but we're not going to link it to anything. Yeah, it's just like it's really we're, weird. We're, we're so <laughs> unsure of what this thing is. We're we're stripping its name away from it, and we're just 
gonna leave it in the back. Artwork is a very like seventies kind of feel to it in terms of interpretation. So I'm wondering if that's like around the time it was found and discovered, in which case it's not gonna be anything that I could list off the top of my head. <laughs> Dino's having a brain blast over there. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know any <laughs> any dubious notosaurs. I don't right. know. I'm gonna go ahead and ask for a hint. Yeah, me too. Okay. It was found in eighteen fifty six, yeah. Wow. Its name means ancient skink. Okay. And they only found the tooth. I found the tooth. Well, no wonder they took the name away from it. It's a tooth. I forfeit. I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I can do it either, man. Uh, it's it's polioskinkus. Polioskinkus. <laughs> polioskinkus. Polioskinkus. Yeah, ancient skink. Wow. Just right. what a creature in general. Yeah. He's... So that that was all based Paleo on Skinkus? Yeah, it let me I'll 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 type it down. Yeah, Paleo Skinkus. Was it Paleo or Polio? It's, it's, well, it's, 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 it says pa- it says Paleo Skinkus. But when it's uh, yeah, it's just me being Yeah, that's Paleo. English is everything. It's your first <laughs> language. <laughs> it's my first language it doesn't mean I mastered it but that's how they uh, they break it down for you yeah that's weird it's like polio skinkus that's weird because that's, yeah, how, yeah. that's yeah. how that's how that's how because um, that's how you know paleontology is spelled in the UK the paleo oh, yeah, part paleon. Paleon. but this... they put polio I don't I don't trust you breaking it down words I'm just saying pa- I'm gonna call it paleo it's... Paleo skin kiss. It's a wastebasket taxon. Is it um, really? Yeah. It is a, a <laughs> seven... very British way of saying that. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, we've gone back to the 1800s where we all speak Polish. <laughs> All right, I'm fellas. The good guy, the bad guy. So, what yeah. are we? What are we doing next week? We're doing elephant relatives. Elephant yes. relatives, because that's what we said last time. The loser of the poll would be next week's, and then after that, I'm thinking we do the carnivore dubious ones because that that sounds like a. a this one was a lot of fun. I had fun with this one, so. <laughs> It was enjoyable research in each one, just trying to get like little bits of things, making sure everything was like there. Yeah, I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've got already, I've already got like near enough all my elephants picked out as well. Sick. I'm trying to break it down from five to three. So that, that's that's going to be a good one next week. Oh boy, um, the yeah. those. <laughs> nice. <laughs> But yeah. And anyways, so yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, next week will be ancient elephants and species of. And thank you for watching. Yeah, we'll see you.